So I mean, what's a typical day in your life like? Is it just basically, are you like home a lot? Do you go anywhere to study? Do you have classes throughout? Yeah. So on Mondays, thir- Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays, I have all my doctrinals. So I have contracts, property, and torts. And it's kind of spaced out weirdly. I didn't think I was going to like it at first because I have a three-hour break in between contracts and property and a two-hour break between property and torts. So I'm usually the kind of person, like an undergrad, I scheduled all my classes back to back. I just like getting it done. But since I don't have to go anywhere, I realize that it's really not that bad. I just kind of devote my time in between classes to doing work. And I feel like it's a lot more productive for me. And then at the end of the day, after my last class, I can just kind of say, okay, I spent the whole day working. So now I can take some time off. So I really do treat it like a nine to five. I only study at home, which is rough, but WashU recently reopened their library for student access. So I might be making use of that in the near future, hopefully, because I need to get out of my house. Um, But yeah, excited that they're slowly starting to open things up. They're being very cautious. They've been very open. Like if we see the numbers in St. Louis going up, we're going to shut it back down again. So it does feel nice that things are slowly starting to appear a little bit not normal, but maybe we can see normal in the distant horizon, possibly. Well, it's awesome. They're actually going to give you a space to go. I mean, they have this library and assuming that demand is not too high, they could even keep people spaced out or build like private study corrals, little areas, which they kind of libraries already have anyway, just for quiet. Mm -hmm. So I could see that being good. Have they said anything about spring semester or is it definitely at home online? They haven't said anything about spring semester. And I kind of had a little bit of beef with how they handled fall semester. I got my schedule like a week before classes started. They were holding out that we were going to be in person until the last possible second. And I don't blame them. I mean, from a selfish standpoint, I wanted to know, but I understand from an administrative standpoint that they, they were scrambling, like they wanted to prevent deferrals. They wanted to have it in person if it was all possible, but you know, it's a changing situation. It changes every day. So I kind of get that. But with spring semester, they haven't told us anything. For me, since I live in St. Louis, it's really not an issue. But I have heard like classmates concerned, like, should I sign a lease? Because they didn't move this fall. So they're like, should I move for spring and sign a lease? Like, that's a big commitment. Um, But they have said that even if they're in person, like, you will be able to exercise the virtual option all year if you'd like. But we have no idea what the spring semester is going to look like at this point. Yeah, I mean, really, nobody knows anything, right? It's also up in the air. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.